Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we're diving back into the director who buys me dinner. We're diving into episode six. Um, episode five was spent with Dong Beck getting kidnapped by this other department lady. Talk about, hey, the little boy we hired done ran away and took all the stuff with him. We need somebody to help us, please. And he basically just got caught up drawing. And he finally went back to his job, his office, because Udam was going to be waiting for him after work. And basically like, hey, I, I want to see you. And you damn gave him the biggest hug. That's what we do in this episode. We end every episode with a hug. Um, and he's like, great. We, we, I'm going to love on you hard. We're we, we going to be doing this thing. And that's where it ended. the episode ended. So we're just going to dive in and see where this episode takes us. Super adorable. Another super adorable episode. Um, like I was saying there, I'm still not 100% certain what Dennis's deal is. Um, because at first, a couple episodes back when he was starting to have, do like his little fainting thing and we were hearing that same sort of like feedback noise that we heard when Dong Beck got possessed by the ghost or whatever it was in the middle of the street. Um, I was trying to, I was speculating like, okay, is he also possessed by something is he also reincarnated from something in their history was he a third lovo was he a, someone's daddy like what mm, or was he just was that just the sound of that that they were using to illustrate the fact that he was kind of like coming in and out of consciousness that was his health condition flaring up and after i think after the episode where he was kind of like fainting in the the, the stairwell or whatever and Dong Baek came and found him and you know picked him up helped him up and all that stuff I just came to the conclusion like okay it's probably just them illustrating using that noise to illustrate his condition kind of flaring up and him about to pass out but then with this episode the way he is featured the way he was placed is not really an antagonist well eh, not really an antagonist but we're placing him as we're using this as a plot device to kind of stir up some level of drama although it clearly by the end of this episode it whatever drama he was trying to stir up didn't work um but i don't i still don't know like what his intentions are like obviously he's he sees dong Beck and he he's attracted to him in some sense and i don't know if he's attracted to him because he's just a normal human and this is the only person who's shown him some level of kindness uh, like genuine kindness and concern um since you know he's been famous and whatnot so he's just taking that like oh man this guy this guy is something special i must have him or if he is in fact some past life reincarnation who is trying to keep these two apart for some reason maybe he's some agent of you know the god who put the curse on them and is trying to keep them apart so that the curse stay, stays enacted i don't know i i, I don't know I don't, I don't know what dennis's deal is but either way he he was enacting his plan to get dong Beck to, to to be his boo thing um so he he got him to be the the assistant and then he's like okay manager man's gone Let, let's let's move let's make my move all right let's and I, I need lips i need lips on me i'm like girl same child who, who you telling um reminded me of the one photo shoot that i saw like the behind the scenes of with Wan ho and similar things where he had like the lip lipstick marks left on his body and we saw the behind the scenes of the person like you know putting on lipstick and getting to kiss his body and i'm like child what i would not pay to have that job like not not i don't you don't need to hire me like you don't have to pay me anything well i will pay you i will pay this entire staff here to let me have that job and kiss all over Juan, Juanho's body yes please and thank you I, I will die happily with that memory um but yeah it reminded me of that photo shoot um so, you know, that was part of his plan. He's like, okay, if I get him to kiss on my body, he might 
feel a spark or something. He might feel a little something, something tingling downstairs, and you know that might make him want to come over and be my man. So um, he did that. Dongbek was nervous as all hell, and it's not even because he's decided to pursue this thing with um, the director or anything. He just seems to be a nervous person in general, uh, very innocent, and I. I don't think that, you know, kissing up on random men is his everyday activity. I don't feel like that's a normal thing for him. Me, having been in theater for years and years and years at this point, being a performer and all that jazz, fine, you need me to kiss up on somebody, I'll kiss up on somebody. It's, it's the job. It's just part of the job. It don't mean anything. It doesn't mean I'm attracted to them or whatever. Um, but for Lil Dong Baek, who's been a sweet boy, and it, it's, it's just not everyday for him, so... You know, he, he was terribly nervous. Um, then we found out that the manager got hit by a truck, which is why it took him seven and a half hours to go get this goddamn coffee. Um, so Dung Beck's like, okay, fine, I'll drive him home and you, you go home and rest. And during the car ride, um, the director of the planning department was like hey we're, we love your design and we're gonna we want to use this blah 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 but we gotta run it by dennis first and dennis is like oh you're in charge of my my design i'm like no 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 i just i helped out a little bit with something and something and i'm like baby just have a conversation with with you damn just just have a conversation because like <laughs> i feel like he would be very understanding he may not like it but he'll be very understanding with the fact that you are too nice and this lady kidnapped you and took advantage of your niceness and got you to design this thing for her. Um, I'm, I'm sh he'll be fine. But if you start trying to keep it secret and then he finds out, that's when we're going to have issues because then it's like, why are you lying to me? Why are you hiding and stuff? So we'll just have a conversation. But um, we'll cross that bridge later, I suppose. Um, but yeah, Dennis, again, just started to try and make his move. And... <sighs> I feel like Dennis's style of flirting. I don't know if it. I don't know how well it's worked out for him in the past if he's applied it, but like, for this particular case, for Sweet Little Dong Beck, it is not the right style. It is not the right style. It is too. I don't know, too aloof, but at the same time, a little too aggressive. If that makes sense. So like. It's, it's like mixed signals, hot and cold. Because like when they were at the photo shoot, like I knew that Dennis was, he got Dong Beck to be at the photo shoot for a reason because he wanted, he had some sort of interest in him. Um, I wasn't sure what the interest was, but I knew he had some sort of interest in him for some reason. So when I'm looking at his interactions, I'm like, okay, he brought him here. So now he's going to want to, I don't know, be nice to him or, you know, talk him up and get, you know, make him feel comfortable. But then he... Like, the conversations they had felt very short and cold. And I'm like, Dennis, why are you being a, kind of a dick right now? You're kind of being like a, a little bit of a diva. The, basically, what the tabloids have been saying about you that we've been hearing in voiceovers over the last couple of episodes is kind of what you're being right now. And I'm like, that's not, for me, that's not the way to really attract. So that doesn't attract me. And I don't, I feel like that's not going to attract Dong Beck. So then you getting him to kiss up on you is not enough because that's not the kind of person Dong Beck is. For someone else who might be a little bit more sexually driven or, you know, have all of that sort of testosterone running through them where, you know, oh yeah, physical contact is what's going to get their motor rev and blah, 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 blah. You know, having to kiss up on you might make them feel some type of way or you might get a little hot and steamy there in the photo shoot. But for Dong Beck, that's, 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 that's not who he is. I mean, anytime he's been remotely close to um, you, damn, you could see him getting nervous and frantic and like, oh, because he's a sweet boy, sweet little cinnamon roll. He's, he's not that kind of person. Um, so that approach of like trying to be coy and you know is not the case and then at the same note when you come back to the parking garage and then you're more aggressive do you have a boyfriend how about i be your boyfriend <laughs> step into him like that i'm like that also is not the, the, the manner to approach him because again too aggressive that is too aggressive for sweet little cinnamon roll you've got to you've got to be soft you've got to woo him you can't just like throw yourself at him but you can't also can't be so aloof and dismissive of him that it just makes it seem like you're a dick like 
you gotta be nice and soft and gentle and woo him and you know befriend him you know you know what i'm saying so dennis's approach for this flirting approach is all off but also going back is spoken for at this point so it, it's a moot point um you damn came at the right time which i felt like he would and rolled up and he's like what are you doing and you could see when dung beck chose to go with you damn that dennis he he had he had this look in his eyes like like he was like at that point okay i he was a child who did not get what he wanted and he was ready to throw a tantrum um but rather than throwing like a violent tantrum there it was more of like a covert okay he's planning something he's gonna th he's gonna do something to try and fuck over either the company or you damn or whatever he's not gonna let it just die here i don't see him just letting it like okay well fine he's spoken for i'm gonna le leave it alone i feel like he's going to try and intervene and do something to either fuck up the business or fuck up this relationship or whatever so we'll just have to wait and see. But I love that last scene in the car, the conversation. And again, just, I love how every episode we're ending with a hug. Every episode either starts and or ends with a hug between these two. And I love it. I love it. It does my little hopeless romantic heart good. Um, super duper sweet. And just like, hey, well, if you're okay now, then you should probably just give me a hug because my scar is starting to hurt a little bit and you know i would like to to not hurt scar and doing a damn thing but you know go ahead and hug i love i love it it's cute 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 so yeah that was episode six so let's dive in episode seven hope you guys enjoyed this reaction if you did don't forget to like comment subscribe share turn on notifications to be notified when all of my shenanigans get posted if there's anything else you'd like me to react to be sure to leave it down in the comments i'll get to it as soon as i possibly can if you'd like to support the channel in other ways you're more than welcome to join us over on patreon you don't have to but you're more than welcome to if you want to and i will see you guys in my next video love ya And before you guys go, I want to give a huge thank you to everyone supporting me over on Patreon. This channel would not be what it is today without your continued support, and I can't begin to thank you guys enough for all you've done for me. If you'd like to join us over on Patreon, the link is down in the description. I'll see you guys in my next video.